if you know the story behind your mother getting on the cover, if we could, if we could hear about that. Yeah, as, as, as I understand it, my mother was 17 years old and uh, studying under Balanchine at the New York City Ballet when, uh, as I understand it, Philippe Hausmann came to the ballet to photograph the prima ballerina. Um, who was either ailing at the time or the other version of the story goes that he saw my mother and, and found her so beautiful that he decided instead to, to, to take her portrait for life. And uh, she looked very much like the Mona Lisa. She had a very, very uh, uh, silent smile. She, she became known as Mona Lisa Ricky and, and uh, she was offered a contract by Selznick to go to Hollywood on the basis of, of that cover. Did they see the cover and, and was it a matter of days? or? I think a it? matter of days, yes. Um, between the time that, that my mother's picture was published on the cover of Life and uh, as a young ballerina, uh, the, under the title a young ballerina, and, and between that time and, and, and the time that uh, Selznick offered her a contract, um, it, it, as she recounted it, it, it seemed pretty immediate, you know. She then went and consulted her father and uh, asked him whether that would be all right, and he said it was fine. I mean, anything was fine with him so long as she didn't smoke. So <laughs> it was <laughs> shortly thereafter that she came to Hollywood. Did your father see that picture of on life or, and then? And what, how did they meet Africa? They met, they met actually as, as a consequence of her having been offered a, con a contract by Selznick because it was then at his house that, that they'd actually met years before at my grandfather Tony Somas. He, he had a restaurant in New York um, to which my father came occasionally and, and I believe met my mother when she was about 14 and uh, had promised to, to take her to the ballet. Um, because uh, under my grandfather, she, she had to write a, a, a four-page essay every time she went to the ballet. So he'd promised her that he would take her to the ballet and she wouldn't have to write an essay. And he was then on secret duty during the war and um, was called up and, and never took her to the ballet. So it was then many years later, or I guess some four or five years later that, that uh, she was at dinner at, at um, Selznick's and he came in and was seated to her right and, and um, he, he begged to be introduced and she said, oh, but we've met before. And, um, and he asked how this could possibly be. He couldn't imagine not remembering her. And she, she told him that indeed they had met when she was 14. Well, what, uh, so that has been quite a it's meant a lot to, to your family. What do you feel about appearing in life uh, in this life spread now? Since oh, it's, it's, it, it, it's a recording, you know. It's more than, than a magazine. It's, it's more than a television show. Uh, life is history. Tell me about, about uh, you, you grew up with, with such talented and famous parents, How, what that was like growing up in that atmosphere. Well, I, uh, since I have really no other basis for comparison, I, I can only say that it was a wonderful childhood. I grew up in Ireland. Uh, it was very beautiful. Um, my father was quite extraordinary, as indeed was my mother. Um, I, I was uh, privileged to, to be their child. Have you seen the cover, the cover picture of your mother? Oh, yes, indeed. What yes. are your impressions of it when the first time you saw it? I'm, I must have been very young, but it, it's quite a memorable portrait. It's a black and white uh, head, head shot um, with a strand of pearls. And she has a very mysterious little smile. She's very, very beautiful. It's That's easy. how I remember her at her best. Thank you.